Medicosis Perfectionalis here, greetings once again. In my previous video on RH incompatibility erythroblastosis vitalis, we have just mentioned that there is a complication to the condition called hydrops vitalis. So what is hydrops vitalis? If you know anything about medicine, you mean that hydro means water, vitalis means fetus, this is Latin. Okay, so hydrops vitalis means a fetus full of water. Yes, that's true. By water, I mean edema. Fine. So we have accumulation of fluid in two or more compartments of the fetus. These compartments can include the scalp, the pericardium, such as pericardial effusion, the pleura, pleural effusion, ascites, or skin edema. It has to be two or more compartments. Hydrops vitalis is the most serious manifestation of RH hemolytic disease of the newborn, second only to death itself. There is another condition called Hydrops allantois or Hydrops amnion. There is an accumulation of excessive fluid in the allantois or the amniotic space, respectively. So don't confuse the two something called hydrops vitalis, now the fetus has water. Hydrops allantois or hydrops amnion, the allantois or the amnion have excess water. What's the pathophysiology of hydrops vitalis? This is really important. As you know, severe anemia. If you recall my video on RH incompatibility, we had severe anemia. Severe anemia leads to hyperdynamic circulation. Okay, hyperdynamic circulation means high output cardiac failure. Now you have blood just circulating very quickly. It's called high output cardiac failure or normal ejection fraction heart failure. Okay, which side will fail? The left side of the heart. You have left side heart failure. Then you have pulmonary edema and you also have pulmonary hypertension and vasoconstriction. The pulmonary hypertension will lead to right-sided heart failure. Right-sided heart failure lead to venous increased hydrostatic pressure, which will lead to accumulation of fluid, edema, and ascites peripheral rather than pulmonary. Okay, so left side of the heart will lead to pulmonary edema. I'm sorry, this is the heart. Left side of the heart will lead to pulmonary edema. Right side of the heart will lead to peripheral edema. Okay, then there is another mechanism. As you know, during hemolysis, such as in RH incompatibility, there is extra medullary hematopoiesis to help the poor bone marrow who is working like crazy. Now we have the liver working like crazy, hepatomegaly, and may lead to hepatic dysfunction. Normally your liver secretes albumin, but a dysfunctional liver secretes less albumin. Less albumin means less oncotic pressure. Again, you have peripheral edema. Okay, is that clear? This is the pathophysiology of hydrops vitalis. Are the causes of hydrops vitalis anything that causes anemia, especially severe anemia? It could be immunological, such as RH incompatibility, as you know, or non immunological, such as parvo B19. We call this fifth disease. Okay. Do you know why do we call it fifth disease? Let me know in the comments. CMV. Iron deficiency anemia, twin twin transfusion can lead to anemia, Turner syndrome in female, Noonan syndrome in males. That's why we call Noonan syndrome male Turner syndrome. And I have a great mnemonic called the mushroom mnemonic about Noonan syndrome. So make sure to search for this video. Diagnosis of Hyrops vitalis ultrasound. And now we can do middle cerebral artery Doppler, which is very cool. Complications of hydrops vitalis, spontaneous termination.
course, you know how to treat severe anemia, blood transfusion in utero, okay? Because the baby may die in utero, we would like to prevent it. That's it. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. I'm making a lot of videos every week and we are getting so close to our favorite topic, leukemia and lymphoma. So stay tuned, it's coming pretty soon. Thank you so much.